Hi, I'm John Fry and when I got the D800 out of the box initially I uh, plugged in the live view and I thought oh this is very exciting uh, but how do I get rid of this at the bottom and how do I get the all important uncompressed video out uh, that it's you know supposed to be uh, capable of doing so that it can go into an external recorder. Well firstly of course once you've plugged your HDMI cable in uh, and flick on the live view for video, you think, ah, excellent, but I've got all the inf information from the, uh, from the camera displayed down there, which you don't necessarily want. How do I get the full screen, complete uncompressed image? Okay, here we go. Menu, and uh, you'll come up with whichever one you're in. What you want to do is go to the setup menu, and inside the setup menu there is the HDMI setting. And this is your main thing, okay? So output resolution uh, from the tap factory comes as auto. Generally, um, leave it as 1080i. Why it doesn't do 1080p, I don't know, but it you know, only gives you the 1080i option. Go back into it again, advanced, output range. Um, output range, there's a lot of talk about output range. It's not really that important, to be honest. Most people, uh, for most uses, uh, leave it on limited range because that's most compatible with most monitors, recorders, all that sort of thing. So generally, leave it on limited range. If you really know what you're going to do, you're, what you're doing, and you're definitely going to grade, put it on full range. But otherwise, leave it with limited. Uh, it should be fine. Okay, output display size. Lock that up to 100%, especially if you're recording externally rather than just monitoring. Live view on screen off. Okay, so now that's all set. Let's go back to live view, and hey presto, yes, full 1080 output, that's your full uncompressed image filling the screen, will go perfectly onto whatever monitor you're using or external recorder. So uh, there we go, that's how to set your uncompressed HDMI output from the Nikon D800.